your beard won't grow any longer unless you use hair tonic. Well, I'm going to trim that off. It's too long. It's also summer right now. I turned the Dynamic Seasons mod back on. I think it always starts in summer. I actually installed an update, actually, rather than just putting the old one back on. So that's probably why it's gone to summer, I guess, not just carried on from winter, which I guess probably makes sense anyway, right? How long were we on Grama, right? Would we have been gone? A season's length, right? Spring. Would spring have come and gone whilst we were on Grama? Maybe. So it might make sense Morning. that we are in summer. It does, however, mean we are wearing too much clothes. So that also needs to be changed as well as the shave. So I'll go find my little tent or shack, wherever I'm held up, and do that. A bit dark in here. Very depressing in here, isn't it? Morning, Arthur. Hello. Good to see you again, Karen. Where's Molly, by the way? Nobody's seen her in ages. Good riddance, I say. Huh. Okay. Yeah, she was a bit of a bitch, right? Always complaining, arguing with Dutch. Probably good that she's gone. Okay. This is where I'm sleeping now, is it? Damn, what a... Upgrade from Shady Bell. Not... Uh, fucking shit, mate. Okay, start yeah, with the clothing morning. then, I guess, and I'll find where the hell I can shave. Uh, my customs. Yep. Oh my god, we look so ill. Look at our face. The shipwreck has done us no favours, has it? So pasty. You thought we would have got a tan. Where's the mirror? Who's stolen the mirror? The shaving mirror? Is there one? There's not even a box here to donate, right? I owe $200, I think. Where's the fucking shaving mirror, mate? Am I got to go to a barber's? Ah, keeping the soap sellers in business with all that hair, huh? So, what do you need? Please shave off my Santa Claus beard, please. It's so long. It's horrible. I hate it so much. Oh my god, look how ill we look. We look so bad. We also need a bath. We could do a bath here too. Thank you. And you now know what? Isn't half bad, huh? I think I may change the hair because I don't think I any longer want Dutch as my role model in life. And I feel like copying his haircut is probably not what I want to do anymore. And I think I may actually like to wear my proper hat. So, may change hair. Uh, do I want to go for like a just a default look now? I, I don't even know if I want to go long. I might go a bit shorter actually. But it needs to be something that fits with the hat, right? Please tell your friends about us. Yeah, I like that. But I want to wear the hat. So that's what's most important. If it fits underneath, does it fit? There's no clip in there. Hard to see. I think it actually does fit underneath the hat. Okay. Alright, that's what we'll go with then. So let's see if we can um, change clothes a little bit too. I'm not sure I want to go that way. Can we go this way? What the hell are you trying to do? What the hell? Oh, for fuck's sake, I turned! Mate, I think it's because of you. Stop me turning. Hello, mister. What's happened? Oh, come on. No, I thought going a different way would have made me skip this. <laughs> Too ill to go get my clothes changed, apparently. Managed to get the haircut. But change clothes is too much. Well, there's plenty of people at the docks to help me out, right? Surely. Here you go. Hi, mate. Don't rob me, please. Are you robbing me? Where are you taking me? Mister, are you okay? Does it look like I'm okay? Mister, are you okay? No. Are you okay, mister? Do you like my fresh trim? Mister, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. Uh-huh. I thought by going like this long way around, I would have skipped this. I thought it was just down the road where Sadie is. 
guess change of clothes will have to wait until after I've been to the doctors about my cold. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I didn't realise it was so soon after coming back. Well, spitting up blood can't be good. I'll be fine in a minute. There. I'm fine. Nearly there, just around this corner. Now you head in there, friend. Go on. Thank you. Clan Samaritan. Fork in the road. Hello, miss. Need help. Can I help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. That's when you know you're bad, right? The receptionist looks at you like that. Come in, pal. Come in. <laughs> Do you remember me? I brought in someone who you chopped their arm off. Do you remember that? Yes, sir. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. That's it. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? Plenty. I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do uh, Sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Let me see your tongue. I say ah. What's the prognosis, Doctor Mister? What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. Burr, burr, burr. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. You'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well... Now, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. What is that? What do you give me? Shot of adrenaline? I mean, if it wasn't TB, it would have been something else, right? We're lucky to survive this long without being shot, so... Where's my horse gone? Where's Billy? Leave the area. Where I need to go from here. It's east, right? Is it this way to the docks? Or oh, this way? Maybe. We can't change what's done. We can only move on. Getting all our flashbacks from choices we've made and things we've said in the past should all be good stuff. You have it in you, I can tell. Who was that? You have it in you, I can tell. Who said that? He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. I think that's Mary Linton. No, that's Mary, right? Who was the one before? And there is our stag. What we represent, because we are a good boy.
Glad I got Arthur's hat on, but I need to change the outfit. You are sick. While sick, you only gain the benefit from consuming a limited amount of food and drink. I didn't realize it was so quick after coming back from Grama. Billy, come here. Please. I need to change. No, I'm, not, I'm not mad on the hair. I'm not sure if it's too styled. It's kind of annoying I got that cut scene with it before sort of being happy with my new look. I, I don't know about the hair. I, I may have changed my mind on it. Uh, to be fair, the plan B, it wasn't, it's not exactly the same as Dutch's, is it? Ah, suits you. But, can I wear my hat? I should have checked beforehand, but I don't think I can, right? Yeah, you can't, see, well, clips through, see in the back. So you can't, I can't wear that. Let me just sweat back. Sweat back fade? Stylish and clean. I think that's better, right, than the stupid little spiky haircut I had. What, what does it look like with the outfit? All right. Yeah, I think Ready that's better. Yeah, I prefer that. I thought about maybe changing the shirt or something, but... I'll be honest with you, I really couldn't see anything that sort of stood out to me that I wanted, so I'll keep rocking this, like, outfit. There's a lot of haircuts on that way, I'm hair that I like. It's just the majority of them don't fit underneath the bloody hat, mate, and I really want to wear the hat now, because I feel like it's important. But anyway, should we actually do this mission, seeing as it's, like, right next to us and calls us to go to the doctors in the bloody first place. I do think just wearing the hat now and getting rid of that hair really does change this look though that we've got. I'm not as a hundred percent liking it as I did. But I just can't seem to find a shirt that I like in the trapper, so I just keep what I've got at the moment. I'd like to be along with you, honey. <coughs> mm. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... If what began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. It's been a slow progression. A slow decline, I guess. Yeah. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. Yeah, people point out the trolley, but it started before that. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So I too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Bribed the morgue and buried them together. Yeah, you already said this, didn't you, in the cutscene before? Follow me. So... What's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Karen's gone fallen fully into the bottle. Sure what he was. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Blame Bill for that. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. You're a busy woman, Sadie Adler. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Howdy. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullet. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. 
A day like today, and Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, uh, well, women can't <laughs> fly, sir. Are you insane? We can. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah. You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> okay. Here goes nothing. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Well, it's very foggy, though. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Lovely. Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Do you know where I want to go, mate? Or are you taking me on like a predestined arranged tour? Let's break through these clouds. Okay. I would never get in one of these. Ever, ever, ever. Never in a million years. Oh. My God. Yes. Heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. Okay. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. Fuck, like, fuck, man. Like a big gust of wind that just knocked that basket over. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? <laughs> Like, I mean, say I wanted to go west, you're fucked, right? You just have to go to whichever way the wind's blowing. All I'll do is press the trigger, I'm not steering, am I? Arthur and Arturo, how perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Speaking of which, um, but you'd, your hat would fall flying off, right? How's the hat still on my head? <laughs> is, that, is that the prison over there? Yeah, we are heading in the right way. Okay. Ah, that's better. Look, we can see for miles now. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. <laughs> I no. think I'm all right, thank you. No. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. Would you like an egg in these trying times? Well, who carries around a boiled egg with them? Just whip out a boiled egg from your pocket? Fucking maniac. What a psychopath. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? Uh, I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, oh, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. Variety is the spice of life, yeah. That's why I stuck with my same clothes. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. Oh, is it? Oh, who would have known? We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. 
What do you mean? I like prison, so I want to see it closer up. Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. Well, I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Okay, chain gangs, there's one down there. Do we want to stop? There's, there's one there. One on each field. Okay. Whip out binoculars. Are we landing? The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, That's you know. not him. Okay, no John there. Uh, this side. Please hurry. Looks like him. Oh, it's hard to tell though. Uh, yep, that's him. Okay. Is it him? Oh, they found, finally ah, seen us. My God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us. I can see that. Ascent. You go up. Ascent. Don't go down. You don't go to the shooters. Oh my lord! Come on, up we go. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck. No. No, oh, for fuck's sake. Mate, wh why does this take so long to fly? <sighs> Are you meant to take hits here? Like, that's just stupid, right? The, the game, has the game been made that way? To be shot then? Ah, my God. What Up. 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 Faster. Fuck's sake, mate. This is absolutely insane. Don't hit me, please. The wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Fucking God. Dear God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Why did I get hit, then? Huh? Why was I getting hit? Uh, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. You can get up. Good Lord. My heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. I was like, there's no way, right? They're scripted to take hits then. Like, even with the normal damage, no way. Okay. John has been scouted out. We'll return there at some point. Where are we landing? Ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord. Is that... Is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Ah, uh, right, yep. I remember this. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. You're enjoying this? Just don't be a coward this time, right? What have I got? Lancaster. Okay. I can't lock on, so let's do this instead. Can I do this? We want to get to. Can I get that guy? Is he already dead? What the hell has she been doing whilst we were scouting out, mate? <laughs> has a lot to answer for. Yes, she does. Oh. Oh dear, that boiled egg feels decidedly scrambled. Who didn't eat it then? Ow. With the old Driscoll's right now. Yeah, what was she doing? It's like in her diary. Drop Arthur off at the hot air balloon at nine o'clock, ten o'clock. Go and fuck with the submo Driscoll's. What's the point in that? Come on, Arthur. Let's finish this bastard. Just ride out there with him. I buffed the uh, NPC health in the missions. Well, like double, so hopefully we should stop getting them dying stupidly, right? Like the last mission. Wait till I tell Baldessario about this! But I mean, like in this case, we're focusing on protecting her, right? So she should hopefully 
not just die, even if I hadn't doubled it. Oh! Are you okay? Oh! Oh no. Okay, give it a dead weight. We're flying by ourselves now, Arthur. Poor guy. Sadie? I'm well far behind. How can I have want her to get the rope? Look out! <laughs> There's a bridge up ahead! Okay. I'll come down and get you on the other side. You're getting your lamp load out here. Lower, Arthur! Okay, so I had to go over the bridge. You're too high! I know, okay, I know, I'm doing it. How are they not hitting her? Pull me up. You could also probably climb at the same time, right? No? Give up! I think we might be going down anyway because no one's piloting right now. Also, you'd think shooting holes in this would make it unflyable, wouldn't it? Are they not shooting the balloon? Maybe they don't know balloons. I think we're gonna crash. We have a real habit of seeing the obvious, Arthur. Hold on. You know what? That really wasn't a bad landing. Did you break your neck? I don't think so. Yeah, maybe. <coughs> oh, damn it, look. There's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Driscolls! You can't leave it for one day? Let's kill these sons of bitches! I need some advice! Got a hit! Oh, those guys are gone on the other side. I'm gonna hang up your damn hide. You're all gonna pay for what you did! God damn it! We got more coming out of the woods there! Who the hell is that over there? Is there someone there? The little red things there, but I can't see anyone. Get out of here, I just goes. Wait, goddamn man! Ow. Careful, Sadie. Just because I buffed your health doesn't mean you can be careless with your life. You boys are a goddamn joke! Come on! Let's move up and finish these bastards! Fucking rock. I'd cut and run now if I was you! Nearly there! Only a few of them left! Ow! Did I shoot his hat off? I shot his hat, didn't I, I think? Uh, I can't see it. Look at those cowards! Yeah, you run! I'll catch up with you soon enough! You're bloody mental, woman, you know that? Looks like we made it. That'll show them! Your voice has gotten so much deeper. <laughs> I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. <laughs> sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marst! You saw him? Yes, in the fields. John first, column later. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. 
That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. <laughs> I'd rather say the boss than Dutch boss. No one like Dutch boss no more. Dutch boss gone mad. 